Okay everyone, so as the title suggests, new home and here it is. So today I'm going to give you a little walk around of what I've been doing. There's a lot of work in progress here, but I thought it was a good chance to um, just see at the beginning what it looks like. And look, I have finished the pyramid. Now the portal stuck out over there, so I moved it slightly. I'm really pleased with that. I think it's really good just with steps. Very simple to do. Okay, let's have a look at it. Now, um, from this side, I don't know why the gravel's there, this has been, I've um, got big windows, lots of windows in this place. And I'm going to put a door on, but I've been leaving that for recording, because uh, I'm going to do it with these new, Oh, look at that, and I'm doing two because I'm going to put a door somewhere else. Oh gosh, we've got three, don't we? Keep forgetting. Well, I hope they're nice because I've got a lot of them now. Okay. Oh yeah, that works quite well. A bit like a prison door maybe though. It'll do. Okay, so here's the um, inside. Like I say, it's definitely a work in progress. Uh, this is just storage at the moment. It's not going to stay there permanently. In here I have made my enchanting room. And I've got an anvil here because I could buy stuff and behind the crafting bench. And I've got the lapis here and the bookshelves I didn't use. I could put more bookshelves at the top if the numbers aren't enough. So I'm quite pleased with that. And then down here I decided to do this as my potion room, which is probably far too big. Oh gosh, look, it's grown. We planted that not so long ago. Um, I think that I literally did that before I was recording, so that's grown really quickly. Put an infinite pool of water here and this is where I'm going to put the brewing stand but I don't know the recipe for it so I'm going to have to research that but I've got that I think it's that in cobble but I'm not sure how the recipe goes so that's going to have probably chests up here and maybe down there but yeah that looks really good I thought I'd keep the poisonous potato there as well so that's that little area. Down there I shall show you that last. Because that's quite interesting. So now I've put my bedroom up here. And this is quite fun. I can just pop down like that. <laughs> I like doing that. Uh, so that's where I sleep. And then I started digging up here. And I went this way. With quite a nice view of the pyramid. And I should probably do this all with this brick. And then I landed up with the water. And then I thought I really should be trying to go up as high as I can. So I started going up this way and then I thought, oh no, it would be better to go that way. So I'm going to make this into another area or something. I haven't quite decided what. I might make it into a proper house with little kitchens and lounges and seating areas. It's another little workstation. And then to get up high, I decided ladders was the best bet because it was really, really a long way up. So here's one little station here. It's quite scary that noise. Probably extend it out there. And instead of just going up in one long shoot, I thought it'd be quite nice to break it up a bit. And then um, this will probably be another area. And then I started staircase because I was quite near the top here now. So I did a big mirror, a big window here to look out. Mirrors, that'd be quite interesting, wouldn't it? They did do mirrors. And for some reason, started doing it with the um, the never app. Quite sure why. They look a bit like picture frames, don't they? But nice view out above the clouds. Now it's quite scary. Sometimes you walk down the stairs and you get the cloud. So this could be another space. And up here is the outside, which is what we needed the other door for. Before I realised we got three at a time. There you go. And I've planted some trees. Oh, I only needed this before recording as well. Look, and the oak trees have already grown. But uh, there's a nice mixture of trees up here. And I thought at one point I might go back to the castle, pick up all them flowers, put them up here, and make this like a garden. It'd be quite nice. But still a long way to get to the very, very top. So I think I might make another way up there. I put loads of torches out so I know where the entrance is. Oh, it's got a flickering. It's been really, really good. 
So that's the house, lots of plans, lots of work in progress. I'll probably do the whole floor red, I think. And the red and the the um, sand brick go really nice together, I think. I've put little bricks up here because I've just not been able to get into the ladder properly. But I might make that into a little elevator, so it looks like an elevator from the outside. I could use these doors, actually, couldn't I? Because they look a bit like an elevator. So, I'm going to show you that area that I didn't um, go to. Because I've made a tunnel from here over to the pyramid. And um, that's definitely a work in progress. Now what I'm going to do here, make this my farm area. Dig all this out, move the farm stuff from the um, pier outside the pyramid and put it all in here. So, oh, I've done that a few times as you can probably tell. This was a little bit, <laughs> bit of a, a wonky way around because uh, the F3 and the coordinates, yeah, you, you won't be surprised to hear, weren't hugely successful. But I did it, uh, and I think I'm quite proud of that. And I thought, why well, is my theory? I could put a rail cart down here, couldn't I? And just whiz round on the rail cart. <coughs> kind of have to find a mine shaft because it's going to need a lot of tracks, isn't it, for that? It's another workstation there. And then you come up inside the pyramid, which I think is quite, quite nice. And uh, this needs all clearing out. This is the actual inside. The staircase is up, so all this bit needs clearing out. Kept a bit of the water in because I thought it was a nice little feature. Might put sugar canes around and do that sort of stuff. So all that needs to be cleared out. That's another way down to where we've just come up. We go down this way. Up that way. That's where we came in from. So then we got lots of little exits out so I can get in easily. And then over here, I've made a staircase up to the top of the pyramid. And that's where the portal is. So I can come out any direction, really. And that portal was about here, and it stuck out. So I've moved it over. That's why it's got that funny edge to it. I've also moved the bed and the area that was there to here, because I would still like to be have a bed over here in case I die in the never when I'm there. So there's that top bit that we saw, all the windows that I said look like picture frames. And that I think is the tree area that I said might be nice for putting my flowers. And that's that top bit that I said we could just build a another like lift to with the ladders. So I'm really pleased with my new home. I think it's going to look fantastic when it's done. Um, it's an amazing place. Now, I'm going to show you. Let me see. I can start before. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what I've been doing in there. For. Now, this is really typical me. I thought, right, I dug all that out, I made all that cobble into stone, tons of stone now, so this is going to be quite easy. What I'm going to do is just um, head off and start making the, the walkway to the fortress. So I've spent ages doing this, loads and loads of stone, fine. And uh, I was having a merry, I thought, right, do a little bit of path. Make sure I'm in the right direction. Had loads of this happening. Just keep moving, I've decided to do it. So I'm going all this way, thinking, yeah, I'm doing really, really well. I am there, obviously. Uh, Mr. Brick, and so I thought, right, I'll just, I'll just carry on, just carry on, just carry on. And I thought, this isn't right. Where am I going? I thought, oh, right, so we go down here. No, we don't go down here. This is, this is all wrong. Where's the fortress gone? And so, um, 
I did take the coordinates to the fortress. Totally wrong direction. Not going where the fortress is at all. So I thought rather than take it all down, I'll leave it here. You never know, it might be handy. But I couldn't believe that. I did all that and it was in the totally wrong way. So luckily, as I said, I've made a lot of stone out of all the cobble that I'd been digging to make my new home. And I thought, right, I'm going to have to do that all over again. So that's exactly what I did. I had to start the other way. It looks quite nice as a home, doesn't it? There it is. Move. So, then I had to do the same thing over this way. But I, because I, I know I'm going the right way, I, I put more of a roof on over this side. Now, I've done glass. I'm not sure if glass is fire resistant, but it hasn't smashed yet. No. It's the only do one side just to see if it does. Work. Um, let's see if we can make it over. So it's been a bit of a um, nightmare. I've been done it once one way, and then having to do it another way. But I haven't, as I say, done all of it. It is definitely a, another project to be completed. I get a bit bored over at the house doing the same thing. Come over here and do something different. So I've made the pathway easier so it's better to follow. This is quite nice here. I've done this quite nicely. And then it goes down. Put glass up again. And there's a fortress over the bridge, which obviously needs to cover as well. So the main problem has been them horrible blobby things with gas. Because um, as soon as I start working somewhere, they appear. So I've learnt just to run and start somewhere else. <laughs> so this needs to be finished off. And then across here, obviously, make another bridge. And um, over here, this needs much more work doing to it to make it secure. We need to go in there and make sure we have got all the goodies from the chests. So, I thought I'd just show you what I have been up to, what I've been doing. I should have brought some stone over with me. Finish that a little bit off. But I've tried it so that I can just walk without having to jump up and down, so I've done lots of steps, lots of half slabs. I think the stone looks really quite nice with the Neverack. See where I've been attacked. I've put out quite a few of the flames. But I like to do it, I know I've done it two here, but I like to do it um, three because then I can build it either side. And it's quite big. So at least if I, and I don't want to enclose it totally there. Because I want to be able to get out and about. So I'm going to keep some areas and like an arch probably that I can get out of. There. Okay, just run. That's the answer. So here, for instance, I'll keep a few spaces open so I can get out and collect, collect things and explore because I want to get back to the walls. This is a left back area out. So I can run in and out. And the same up there. I should put a glass there, see if it works. I've got any glass. So I'm still not 100% sure if it is fireproof or not. Gravel obviously isn't. Where is it? It's here, mate. Where is it? So I'm not sure when you put a block up if it can't see you. Mm. 
minute now. I need to do the floor as well. There it is. I was going to say, I had loads of it. Let's feel that like hot mark so I can stand on it. Very badly done, wasn't it? That? Yeah, so I don't think I can see you. The glass is a little bit. That's why it doesn't attack. Hmm, interesting. So there you have it. You have my new home in the nether and my new home oh yeah well there it is there I think that looks quite nice actually when it's all done when it's got all the roofs on it and it's got the columns on it I think it's going to look pretty amazing massive fortress maybe put a few of them fires out but a half slab is good for the roof the glass just breaks it up a little bit, I think. So there you have it, my little door. So I do a lot of smelting. That's why I've got so many levels, I think. And then we come back. We're in the room. Which I think is... Um, oh. We're big now. We're stuck. Come on, one way or the other, mate. Make your mind up. You coming through? No. So, I shall um, sign off now. I am really chuffed with the home. And there are links here with me out. Yeah, without me having to go across the water all the time. It's quite nice. And it's long-term projects, isn't it? Doing a, a rail, mine, a rail track from here to there, be great fun. Mm. Move all that into that clean area. What am I going to do with that area when I do that, though? Are you always coming through? Oh no, he's still stuck. Oh, there he is. Welcome to the overworld. Um, yeah. So what I shall do is. Um, Keep you updated now and then when I do things. Maybe if I do an exciting project like uh, maybe a kitchen or something, then um, I'll do it on camera. Otherwise, if it gets a little bit boring, pop. Um, we'll, um, well, I'll do it and then I'll just show you what's happened. I love that lava. Hello there. Skelly. I am letting skellies come out because I need the arrows. Let's have to do a mob farm it's going to it's the only way I can get arrows. Let's go on the other end. So they usually hide underneath the tree, that's what they do. And then I sleep, wake up. Go over and get them before they burn up. Mm. Oh, go to the top of the Pyramid, there we are. There's the cloud going across. It's, it's amazing when you're inside. Uh, yeah. and this is going to be my permanent home. So, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time, maybe with assistant and potion making, depending on what you need for the potions. Uh, there's a spider there. Got I've got string now. Let's just get into it. Go over there a bit quicker. Still never mind. Okay, so thanks for watching, as I said, and I shall see you hopefully with all this moved over there. So, bye!